thought she'd left a fair tip for her pizza delivery, but tip? the DoorDash driver didn't agree, and he let the homeowner have it with some not-so-nice language. So how much should you tip to avoid a similar run-in? I don't know. It started as a normal pizza delivery. The delivery guy hands over the pizza, but he's clearly not happy with his tip, and he has some How strong words tipped? for the homeowner. I just want to say, it's a nice house for a $5 tip. Five, five, five dollars, five dollars, that's not that bad. That was rude. I think five dollars, that's quite good. Her order of breadsticks and a medium pizza, twenty-two seventy-eight. Jesus. So the five dollars she gave the DoorDash delivery guy comes out to a twenty-two percent tip. That's not bad. Sounds pretty reasonable. Oh that's actually quite good. I think 22% is actually quite fair and quite good. This guy getting pissed over a $5 tip. I mean, some people will not tip. I think, I, I think $5 is fair. Can you take tips away? You can't, can you? Because if I was her and this guy like, was like that, but I am taking that tip back. I don't give a f I so wish this would happen to me. So I think it would be so funny, but I am 100% taking that tip away, bro. This is why I said in another video that you should always tip last. Because if you tip before, and then he, you've tipped, right? you've tipped $5, 22%, and he comes with that energy, not happy with that tip, nah, fuck, and I ain't tipping you. Be grateful. Nah, I, I would honestly so try my hardest to take that tip away. That being petty, get I, I would do it, 100%. Call him ungrateful. Call yeah. him ungrateful, not is. nice. It was absolutely rude. I spoke yes. to the homeowner, mom of two, Lacey Percival of Kempner, Texas. He could have been having a hey, bad day and it out on me. Um, I just want to say, it's a nice house for a $5 tip. And the fact that he um, pointed out that, that your house was nice, that seemed unfair. 100%. And I still tip, and I'm still doing the right thing, and yet to still be treated. That's what I mean. She but I should be doing tip. more because of where I am in life. If you're a minimum for delivery, you want to be tipping anywhere from 10 to 15%. Now, if you've got a really small you order, you should not be tipping any less than 3 to five, $5 for a delivery. Which is exactly what Lacey did. Thank and you. she has I this message for her unhappy of, pizza of, guy. If you didn't like it, then I'm sorry. Maybe go find a different job that pays more. Um, I just want to say, it's a nice house for a $5 tip. Well, I honestly would try my hardest to take that tip away, man. He just complicated. He came so rude and just became such a dick. I honestly would take, try, and tip, to try and take that tip away just because of that energy. Well, it turns out that delivery guy will have to find a new job. DoorDash tells us they fired him. They also say they've given Lacey $80 of credit to use toward oh. future orders. I mean, to be fair, let's be real here. He's probably just going to work for fucking Uber Eats. So, let me work out. He, that guy ungrateful, bro. He is ungrateful. Like, she could have easily not tipped, and he'd probably have the same reaction, but at least she'll be f***ing $5 richer. But the fact she still tipped, though, $5, uh, to me, I think that's quite fair. Let me know how much you tip your delivery drivers, and what would you do in this situation? Me, if I'm in this situation? Oh my god, I'd make an argument out of it. Be so, honestly, I would love this to happen to me. It'd be so much fun.